Give me your best pickup line. If I like it, I'll go out with you on a date. No, I wouldn't want to go on a date with you. So you think I'm ugly? I don't think you're attractive. <laughs> I don't care. I'm based. I can't, I'm not good at girls. You put me in a room with a girl is not a good idea. So you wouldn't take me home to your mom? No, I would not. I don't blame you. Not my type. So I'm not your type. I feel like looks don't really matter to me too much. It's more It's more about personality. Dude, my personality sucks. Yup. No, it doesn't suck. It's more than that, too. It's something about you. You're not cool at all. You're a dick. Leave us alone. Come on, bro cooked it without even realizing it. It's like, it, there's just something about you. I, there's something in this in this general region that I really don't like. <laughs> Mr. Slot, do you do OF? Yeah, I might. I wouldn't touch you if you were the last two people on Earth. Bruh. Oh, that kind of makes me feel bad. Don't give a <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bodies, 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 bodies! And that's why he gets drilled here. He slams the bat. Now he's making the move, and here come, here he comes. Do you see what you get when you mess with the warrior? We're men. That's what we do. Would you rather have no legs or only one arm? No legs. No <laughs> Boy, I feel like a horse's patoot. Can't tie your shoes? I can't tie my shoes, but I can fuck your bitch. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. You know what I've noticed about women's fantasies, like, when it comes to romance? Their ideal sense of romance is literally just cheating. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shy. You know, the funny thing is, I didn't think this was true. I was like, man, he's just cherry picking examples. And then I did some research and he is 100% correct. Like, think about all the most popular romance movies ever. Sleepless in Seattle. Cheating. You've got mail. Cheating. 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 Cheating and some underage bullshit. International cheating. Oh my God, so much cheating. Cheating, but with good music. Cheating, but with comedy. Rich people cheating. Cheating down under. Old people cheating and cheating plus music. Hey yo, what the fuck? Yo, you might have just made a fact just now. That's some real shit. Like, it is undeniably true. Every fucking successful romantic movie in like the last four decades has just had cheating. That's the women's fantasy. They get with a man. The movie convinces you that man is not good, and then they fucking cheat on him. They cheat on him with the hero of the story, and they're not even subtle about it. The movie is just like, hey, you're with this guy. Go cheat on him so we can have a love story. And women are just like, oh my God, isn't it so romantic? No, you know what would have been romantic? Leaving the guy you're with and then dating the hero. Ladies, what the fuck? This is bullshit. Look, while we're on the subject, why don't we take a closer look at that movie, Titanic? A great love, revered as a great love story, one of the biggest movies of all time. The main character, Rose, she was on a cruise with her fiance. This beautiful cruise paid for by her fiance. And while they were on this cruise together, what does she do? She cheats on him with a fucking homeless dude. <laughs> and look, if this is the epitome of a love story to women and they don't see anything wrong with that at all, like maybe it just gives you a little bit of a glimpse into what they're actually capable of. You know, so be careful out there, gentlemen. And look, I didn't even mention the fact that she took the diamond that they were all looking for, spent millions of dollars looking for, and she just tossed it in the fucking ocean. Like she just seems a bit selfish to me, no? And, and let's be honest, we only heard the story from her perspective, from her point of view. And we all know there are always two sides to every story, to anything that happens in a relationship. So do not be surprised if she just embellished a lot of facts just to make herself look good. Just saying, Rose seems like a fucking bitch. <laughs> Would you cheat on me for a billion dollars? These are always funny because I feel like you don't know the market for a penis. No one's paying a billion dollars to bang a dude. It's usually, it's usually negative two hundred dollars. He ain't lying. <laughs> That's thank you for the best ones ever. Don't wash your hands after taking a shit. Be a man. <laughs> no God! No God! Please no! 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 Please, gentlemen, wash your hands after you take a shit. Now you'd think I wouldn't have to say that, but I have seen far too many men walk straight out the fucking stall and go back to the poker room where they're using the same fucking cards and chips that everyone else is using while I'm eating my dinner right there. I've seen far too many men walk straight out the stall and go back into the gym to use all the equipment that everyone else is using. So look, don't be fucking nasty. Show some consideration to your fellow man. Come on now. I 
thing that girls will lie about a bit, though. They'll oh. be like, no, I want a guy to be emotional. I love it when a guy cries, then you cry, and they're like, okay, so it turns out I hate it. Uh, <laughs> out men's tears form a river for a real man to surf in and f*** your girl is what it actually, <laughs> it actually turns out. <laughs> hey, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. You know, all that shit really helps the channel grow. I appreciate you taking the time. Let's get right back into it. Women have become the villain in our modern story. That's what you said, not yes. me. Um, so I'm noticing it, one, with how single women actually behave, but I am also kind of disturbed by how I see women in a position of like being a mother. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I think it's like such a privilege and an honor, and I just notice that women don't really lean into their duty. They kind of have become selfish and they don't really care about the overall good of society right now. They hmm. care more about themselves. The house. Yeah, this is the type of shit that's actually really obvious to anyone who, who wants to see it. But the problem is, most people, men and women, are still blinded, brainwashed by the feminist narrative. They refuse to look at women under negative light. Especially women themselves. They're all tens and queens to each other, right? When the truth is, we all know that a lot of modern women are just selfish, self-entitled, hypocritical. And the worse and worse they get, it becomes harder and harder for them to justify all their bullshit. And so now you start to see more and more women like this popping out the other end saying, oh, I actually see what you see now. You know, men aren't perfect, but maybe women are the bigger problem right now. I don't give a fuck how long we've been dating. If I tell you not to do something and you still do it, disrespect me and cross my boundaries, I'm going to break up with your ass. And you might think I won't and be like, oh, he loves me, he wouldn't do that. Baby, I will. No matter how much I love you, when it comes to my respect, I'm heartless. I'd rather lose you than lose my dignity. My man. <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to wash all the dishes. You are? Yeah. Dear future son-in-law, I've got you pretty well set up. I'm going to need a Mercedes Benz when I turn 60. Damn good deal. <laughs> Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers gotta hug. I mean, who would you rather hang out with here? Who looks like they're having more fun? Who sounds like they're having more fun? Honestly, like, do the women even like each other? Because we do know that women who hate each other will hang out and act like they're friends. And it's funny because on the other hand, when you think about it, men who are good friends will hang out and treat each other as if they hate one another. You know, they'll call each other the worst fucking names, get in fights. But all I know is it, it looks pretty obvious who's enjoying life more here. You know, one of my delusional thought processes is that one of these times when I go out, I'm gonna find the one. Like, bro, where am I gonna find a girl? What am I thinking? I'm in the middle of nowhere! Trees, trees! Trees! There's a bird. Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? Life just, life just keeps happening. Life is like, hey, guess what? And you're like, what? And it's like, bam! More life. It just never stops giving you more life. That's life. Hey, you want another scoop of life, boy? Hell yes. <sighs> right. I'm proud of you, you know that. I hope you do. happily ever after to the end of his days Nietzsche said I know of no better life purpose than to perish in attempting the great and impossible the fact that something seems impossible shouldn't be a reason to not pursue it that's exactly what makes it worth pursuing where would the courage and greatness be if success was certain and there was no risk the only true failure is shrinking away from life's challenges